he's, he's alive. He, he's alive! <laughs> <laughs> it is time. This almost feels surreal. At long last, the Skarner rework has finally been officially revealed. It's been over a year at this point since Skarner won the VGU poll, and uh, almost a year since I promised I'd make a video on the Skarner VGU. Uh, <laughs> Jack, I'm sorry I made you look like a liar on this one, and Ica Chap, I'm sorry I commissioned art from you nobody even got to see. <laughs> Don't worry though, in this video I do want to show you guys the concept we came up with to compare it to the official Skarner and see if I predicted anything right. But as for the actual Skarner rework, it's taken them quite some time to figure out what to make of them, mostly because Hextech and by extension the Bracken are connected to so many parts of Runeterra, but also because, well, let's just say that after Riot did some surveys and data collections- Oh no, I-, I... I don't know. Studies showed that out of all 162 champions available in League of Legends, Skarner ranked in the bottom four for power fantasy, storytelling, compelling as a main character, emotional weight, and interest in theme overall. Not only that, he ranked as the literal lowest champion in visuals, visual appeal, personality, emotional connection, and as player's personal favorite champion. That, um... <clears throat> That one hurts a bit. And why is this? Realistically, it's because his gameplay was too simplistic, his personality was too boring, and that honestly, a Crystal Scorpion is just not that compelling of a thematic. Don't you be pulling the nobody likes monster champion shit on me again, Riot. He's a product of his time. Back when Riot's pipeline for concepting champions could be boiled down to a couple words. Armor, bear. Ice Archer, Spartan Soldier, Sentient Polygon. So now that he's being updated to the modern age, what's changing? Well, for starters, Riot took the time to analyze what were the most recognizable aspects of Skarner's thematic, and it boiled down to three things. That he's a scorpion, obviously. <laughs> that he's made of crystals, and that he's a good aligned heroic archetype. Through the development, it was eventually decided that the crystalline aspect of him did not really enhance his fantasy in any meaningful way, and as such, for the rework, it will be discarded entirely, just like the origin of the Brackern. Riot mentioned earlier this year that they would be moving the Brackern's home region out of Shirima to somewhere else, and personally, I didn't mind this. In fact, I advocated that Ixtal made a lot more sense. Not only would it give the Ixtal region some more champions in general, but I think it would have enhanced the Brackern's connection to Piltover. We already know Hextech crystals are essentially Brackern organs that were harvested by Piltover to power their city. And we know that Piltover has been doing excavations and resource mining operations in the jungles of Ixtal, which is much closer to them than Shirima, mind you. It just made sense to make everything more closely connected. And while I was right about the Brackern being moved to Ixtal, the rest... Because the Brackern have lost their crystal thematic, they've also apparently lost their connection to Hextech. I'm of the opinion that the Brackern already had fantastic lore, and while changing the region they hail from wouldn't alter their story too much, removing the Hextech element from them, well, let's just say it leaves some pretty big plot holes in the Runeterran universe we'll talk about later. So if the Brackern aren't corpse stones powering Caitlyn's microwave, what are they now? It's kind of funny seeing as I've been re-watching Avatar again lately. The good one. Because now the Brackern function as almost identical Runeterran versions of the Badger Moles, the primordial first Earthbenders, revered and respected by the Ixtali people. Still mostly isolated as they do not wish to meddle in human affairs, but it is because of them the people of Ixtal were able to harness the Earth Axiom in the first place. Maybe I just have a soft spot for godly creatures such as this, but I like this change. It places the Brackern on a pedestal of high importance in Ixtal and gives them more agency for potential stories in the future, because, well, in this version of their story, they're not all dead. Of course, though, that begs the question. What are they going to do for Skarner's story specifically now? It will have to be something completely different since his current storyline hinges on the fact his entire race was game-ended. That we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that his new design... God damn. I know he's not actually going to be this big in game, but I love the direction they took here. Well, the concept art options we got earlier, like the Crystal Beast or Cyber Lin Kuei, were interesting. Cyber Initiative. I was worried that they wouldn't go with this and end up turning him more humanoid to make him more... Generally appealing. But we got confirmation that despite the supposedly unpopularity of monster champions, Riot said, nah, Mans is staying a monster, which is awesome. And from the new concept art here, we can see the big changes. Being a multi-legged purple burrowing creature from Shirima caused him to have a ton of visual overlap with Rek'Sai. It's why so many people thought he was a void monster. But now that he's an Ixtal, being a rock-composed earth elemental, he might have some visual overlap with Malphite, right? Thankfully, though, that problem appears to have been remedied by a smoother, white marvelous color scheme, leaves and vines across his body, and of course... 
Malphite just looks fucking awful. They also decided while it was important to keep him mostly a scorpion, this is a fantastical world. Make him more fantastical. And to that end, his new design now incorporates aspects from other invertebrates and arthropods, specifically the crustacean style shell and the three pronged stinger. His personality too, I am so happy they acknowledge that he isn't just some mindless beast. He's a strong fighter, sure, but the Brackern are an intelligent, wise, and caring species. And above anything else, that aspect about them seems to be what's staying the most intact. Finally, his gameplay has apparently gone through several iterations during his rework development. One was a damage over time poison based champion, another was a pet collecting map roaming character, that one seems to have clashed with what Nefiri might play like, and a form shifting shell molter. But the rioters didn't really feel like any of these were working, and actually we still don't know what he'll really play like. All we do know is that the spires are- <laughs> and that the only part of his current kit that will remain after the rework is his ultimate impale, which is now at <laughs> AOE, what? Perfectly bound. So that's the official Skarner rework. And honestly, it has quite a few parallels to my own fan-made design. All right, drum roll, if you please. After nearly a year of waiting, it's finally time. Here's what the official Nicholas J Boy YouTube Skarner redesign looks like. Yeah, I think Riot's version is better. It's no fault of Ica Chap, of course, who was the person that commissioned for this. Her artwork is simply wonderful. But after seeing the official Skarner rework, I can definitely see the holes in our design. He looks a little bit too similar to old Skarner, and the visual overlap with Rek'Sai is even more egregious now. But if I may explain my thought process behind this. You can see we had a similar idea incorporating arthropod physiology beyond normal scorpions like Riot did. But with ours, we honed in on trilobites and eurypterids, also known as sea scorpions. They're technically not, but they're what comes to mind mind when I think of ancient scorpions. And the crystals were changed to fossils. If you don't know how fossils work, they're not the actual bones of the animal, more so an imprint of the skeleton filled with rocks and other sediments. In some cases, that sediment happens to be opal, turning what would have been an ordinary fossil into a gem-like construct. That's why the blue parts of his body were colored this way, and the red crystal was meant to be what he looks like using his current W, spikier and vibrant red to symbolize an aggressive state. If you couldn't piece it together from the hints, the primary goal of this redesign was to make him look more ancient. The Brackern have been around for a long time on Runeterra, and a whole part of their lore is them being dug up and discovered via excavation, much like the fossils of our world. And guilty as charged, I'm a certified prehistory enjoyer, so naturally my own personal biases were incorporated into this design. But despite its flaws, I'm still pretty happy with how this turned out. Overall, the Skarner rework, at least from a design standpoint, is looking very promising so far. My only really big point of criticism is the implications disconnecting Hextech from the Brackern will have on Runeterra at large, and especially Piltover. The lore of multiple Piltoven champions is driven by Hextech, and yet now we don't even know what it is. I always thought the fact Piltover was literally powered by the life force of sentient souls was a pretty neat metaphor for the problems of social hierarchy and the abuse of the lower class and indigenous populations, but I guess Rai doesn't really want to explore complex issues like that. Honestly, the thing I'm most sad about is that because of this change, we'll probably never see a Seraphine Brackern redemption arc. I would have thought Skarner's rework was the perfect opportunity to make amends and properly connect their lore together, but no such luck. Hey, at least we still have LOR Seraphine, right? But those are my thoughts. What do you fellas think of the Skarner rework so far? Are you happy with the direction they've taken, or are the sacrifices not worth the additions? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And, uh... Whew, not gonna lie, getting this video out is a pretty big weight lifted off my shoulders. Surely now that the Skarner rework has officially been revealed and by extension this Skarner video is now live on this channel, you fellas will finally stop asking for it. Right? Right?